So, um, I don't know if you guys see what she said, but it says, my father slapping me after I told him if he ever hit me again, I'm going to beat his ass. want to go ahead and just say for a lot of men who are dating these modern women um these younger women this younger generation that's coming up I gotta tell you something for the majority of you just know if there's any problem in the relationship more than likely it is not you okay I'm not gonna say all the time it's not you because there's certain situations different backgrounds growing up, whatever, not everything can be an absolute, but a lot of the time, I just want to let you know, it is not you. Because a lot of these women, not just this woman in this video, but a lot of these younger women coming up show day in and day out that they have no respect or regard for any of the men in their lives, not even the one that created them. They have no respect for a man, period. Sometimes you could blame it on the mom more than likely, okay? Because a lot of these mothers out here, even though they were married or they had long-term relationships or that was the father, they would constantly and blatantly disrespect that man in front of the children and the children grew up with the mindset that I don't have to respect him either because my mother didn't. She showed me that I don't ever have to respect a man even though she lived with one. Even though she had a child with one, even though she procreated with one, she still always led me to believe that I don't need to respect a man and so I will not respect one. How the heck <laughs> can you expect a woman who is threatening or combative to her own father to respect you. How? And this is why it's important when you are in a relationship with a woman or when you are meeting a woman, it is important that you have a conversation about her and the relationship she has with her father and whether or not she has a relationship with him. How does she talk about him? What does she think about him? How does she regard him? Because a lot of the time, if a woman has so many things negative to say, about her own father. I'm not saying all the time. Just putting it out there. I'm not saying all the time. But a lot of times, a woman who has a lot of negative things to say about her own father is going to be a problem with you in the relationship. I'm not talking about a father who was harmful to her. Okay? I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about um, you know, a father who dealt with, uh, you know, substance abuse or whatever. I'm not talking about that kind of father either. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about maybe the, the mom and the dad broke up and she, how she thinks of that situation. Did she ever hear his side of the story? Did she ever talk to him about it? Did she just feed the lies that her mother said or go from the story that her mother said and use that gaze to say, this is how I treat or care about or think about all men. What is her mindset behind that? Because a lot of these women, they don't have to go on here and say that they trying to, you know, be combative with their dad or fight their dad or whatever on the internet. They don't have to do that. By the way that they carry themselves, you know that they don't respect their father. By the way that they talk to men or talk about men, you can tell they don't respect their father. So how, in this beautiful, amazing earth, can you possibly expect her to be somebody who is going to be moldable? Someone that you can, uh, you know, grow and guide? Somebody who can be led? Somebody who can be cooperative, submissive? How? 
How can you expect that from somebody who doesn't even respect the person who made them be alive? How? How, Sway? <laughs> How? You cannot. A lot, of, a lot of you guys have to look at the red flag right away. Have those deep conversations right away. You don't need to wait two, three, four years, five years down the line. Because listen, if she's saying that she is combative with her father, who are you? One argument, she going to be doing... What, what, what did she do in the video? Just like that. One argument, she's going to go get the cutting board. Just like that. And maybe even worse. And maybe even worse. We have to learn to differentiate. And again, dive in and have those conversations right away. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? What do you think about this? What's your mind? Who? What's your relationship with this? What's your relationship with that? What do you think? Because when you get to the nitty gritty, it makes it easy to make decisions. Oh, no, I'm not wasting my time with you. Oh, I am not about to sit here with you. No, not doing it. No, you can't fool me. I don't care how cute you look. No, not fooling me. No, not doing it. It will save you a lot of time. A lot of time. And a lot of the and a lot of the women who are coming up and disrespecting men and their fathers and all of that, I gotta tell you, a lot of them will be so upset if they actually heard the other side of the story. A lot most of them. And most of them would then have a tarnished relationship with their own mother. Based off of the lies that they were told or the information that they were told so that she would feel good. Because she have a little tribe with her against this one person instead of her being the outsider while these children have a relationship with this man. A lot, a lot of women would be upset with their mothers. That they wasted all this time and had all these bad relationships and had this bad relationship with their own father because of her words. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. But I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Please give me you guys' opinions. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.